Guys, I know you're waiting for a new PBE game of Malzar mid, but we're not getting mid on the PBE. It's frustrating. <clears throat> we're playing in the live servers, Diamond 2 to Isha. Diamond 2 ELO, okay? If I say Diamond 2, you'll accept it. Sit there like a good little boy or girl. Um, depending on whatever you are, I don't know. Trans, you know, there's so many, so many genders these days. But welcome, welcome. We're playing Mal's against the probably one of the more annoying matchups, Tristana with Ignite. Um, kind of simple why it's annoying. First of all, she can just jump on us. We can't really run away. She is gonna proc her blow up or whatever, jump on us again. So how do we play this? It's first of all, Q Max. Why? Her basic attack, uh, when she kills a minion, it explodes. She basic attacks once, once on the Voidlings, all of them. Bye bye, dead in the grave. How do we stop it? We max Q. Hopefully they buff Q. Maybe 70%. I would love that. But probably not. But in the new season, again, it's a void kind of void game. Or void map or whatever. Maybe they'll buff the voids. Hopefully. It's going to be a hard, hard game. Depending on how aggro she plays. We don't want to push the wave. We pretty much just want to freeze it. We can push it later on when we are like 6. But for now, we pretty much just want to play it safe. We want to try to linger as far back as possible. We want to try to like... Again, we want her to push. This is perfect. But she is going to go aggressive at level 2. We don't want to keep pushing here. Again, wait for the wave. If we miss a few minions, it's fine. We want to uh, kind of preserve as much HP as possible in this matchup. Minions, we can miss early. It's fine. We just don't want to die. That sucks. She's about to 2 here. That's perfect. So now she'll probably look to jump if she can. But she sucks. Again, she's playing Tristana mid. Usually people are not that good if they do. Exhibit A. Budge. Even with Doran String, man. Can't help minions being a little bit weird. Can't help turrets being a little bit freaky. It's okay though. Kind of hit all of them with my Q. Unfortunate, missing a lot of minions. We should not miss this much though. Happens. A little bit rough. Try to basic attack those. We, wanna, we don't want to Q. Again, if she jump on us, the way we slow push. But if we Q, we're going to push into her. We don't want that at all. We want it to push against us all the time. And we try to farm as well as possible on the turret. Mazar is just a hard champion to farm on the turret. Because once again, you guys can see the Q. It's our only burst spell. But that burst spell hits everything. He doesn't tick fast enough to kill the minions on the turret. So it's just a rough, rough game style. And hopefully my jungler does not... You know, does not try to contest or fight two versus twos. We don't win. We just don't win. And hopefully she realized that. Shibala lost minions and I lost my brain cells. We, don't, we should not fight this man. She definitely got the uh, she got the scuttle, guys. She got it. I lost too much mana. I have to reset here. Very, very bad resets. A little bit frustrated, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, she, because she wanted to contest Scuttle, we lost HP, we um, lost a lot of minions, uh, we lost mana. The problem with junglers in this elo is they don't, they don't really realize the matchups. They don't care. They only care about their own matchup. So now we're even further behind, which means she will just be able to play even more aggro. Yes, I missed a lot of minions early as well. 
that's that's also a problem for me but that just cost me way way more way way more And I would need a kill or an assist here to be able to come back. It's okay. You can't really be too tilted, you know. I am a uh, kind of mental stable, mentally stable player. I mean, I play Mazar for a living, you know what I mean? How can you not be t uh, untiltable playing the champ? Everything is against you. Everything is against you and you just have to work through it. Maybe one, one uh, Voidling spawn would have been good, actually, to push this in, for example. I also think this would be enough. Well, that's so uh, whatever, I guess. She can't freeze, it's a Shusana, but I might lose a couple of minions. Hopefully it kick cucks it for her. She takes this, has to take that, she will basically attack this. Nice. And that's slow pushing to me now. That's pretty much the only positive thing with facing a Triss. They can't really freeze the uh, wave. If they would have been able to, then again, it would have been just 10 times harder. We have lost Shaft now. We should have been here earlier, but it is what it is. And now we look to freeze. I can't really follow our rooms. Hopefully my team doesn't fight. And they do. And they might just all die. That's fun. That's no worries. Again, we just have to survive the early game as much as we can. Can't let her shove in for free now. Okay. Nice. We really knew that. We lost so much gold mid. Let's go like this here. Again, going for Ludens, guys. They don't have a big tank. They're probably going to go full damage. So Ludens is just going to be pretty much the, uh, the better option. Um, my turret is very low. So they're probably going to break that or try to break that. And they'll let Tristan a roam. That's probably the game strat. We're still buying in CS by a lot. But we're going to get that back. Slowly. Is not gonna be able to push.
<clears throat> why, like, why is she blocking my movement here? Like, I don't get it. Why is she blocking me? Why can't I? Why won't she just let me run away? She literally just blocked my movement here. It, it's just so crazy. It's crazy. We're trying to juke the cube, but her, her, like, body blocked me, so I got hit by it. Oh, so frustrating. Like, in these hard matchups, like, things has to go somewhat... Somewhat close to perfect for you to make it work. And all of a sudden, like, again, the early game, we had to... We had to... Somewhat, it's a 4 versus 4 in the river. We were trying to move, which we shouldn't, but we did anyways. Kind of made us fall behind. And now it's like... You know what I mean? We're still not super far behind in terms of that. You know, we're one death, but we're down in farm. We haven't got a single plating. Four platings down. We're pretty much down like almost 800 gold. Okay, we're almost up with our R. <clears throat> Maybe Ignite wasn't the greatest choice in this matchup too. There's a tiny bit of a greed, I'd, I'd say. I'm not really sure, like, why wouldn't he R? Why wouldn't he R? I don't get it. If he used R's, he's dead, but... Uh, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's fine. Let's just... That's nice. Good gank. That's a decent gank. I'll probably just let the turret fall actually. It's fine, let her roam. That's the only way I can get back into the game I think. And hopefully she just fails the roams, that would be Beneficial. We're not fine. Interesting. My ignite was a bit shorter range than my R, I guess. Damn. We'll still save the turret, but I'm not sure <laughs> what purpose that's gonna make. It's 1 HP. Got a kill for a kill. It is what it is. Nice. <clears throat> Pantheon is getting bigger and bigger. That's that's awesome. 
but uh, they have to try to push this turret down. Nah, can't defend this. I guess I go bot. It's okay. Cool. Not bad. We're so weak as shit, but slowly, hopefully, we're down a lot of farm. But now we can get some side pressure, and then it depends on how they play the map. If they play it wrong, we can always get back into the game. That should be enough to push that. That's exactly what we needed. Exactly what we needed. And we got a lot. We pushed the bot wave. We got two kills. We're back in the game. Again, one one good team fight can literally bring you back. Let's not get complacent. We keep pushing. We keep doing what we are supposed to do, which is farming. The standard stuff, but we're not overextending. Whoops. I like the alternator, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to save up 1,250 like this again. Always when you have bigger amounts of gold, always buy the most expensive item. Just because, again, you might not get, there, uh, get that gold again, if that makes sense. We're almost maxed E again, or maxed E now as well. So it's going to be pretty much the E maxed mouse as well. I do think we do uh, proc 2, uh, two on the Ludens now as well. I'm not really sure on the R, but... Idiots. There we go. She literally entered for the turret. She proc the her R or her uh, explosive. So he's pretty much timed it. Nice. Pog. Nice, this could be Nash. Tristana is bought. If he's rotated here, we'd have Shivan as well. Nah. Hard, leasing is fast, almost. Good try. Okay, we'll go back to, um, we'll go back to the plan, guys. Pretty much, he's defending turrets. Uh, we can always do the same play again here. 
If she tries to blast the uh, the uh, the turret, we used to pretty much are her. Okay, she pushes and this time and just kind of backs off. Ur got this bot, but he doesn't have TP, so it's pretty much... He is weak. I should be able to kill him, but he's so tanky with one item or two items. Wait, he has two items! Without any kills. I don't even have two items. How much turret gold has this guy gotten, man? Jesus. Turret is so OP, guys. Like, <laughs> if this doesn't prove it to you... I'm also two items if I reset, but he's two items already. I'm done. Nah, no, that's crazy. Holy shit, I should have flashed Z. I always forget that interaction. If he E's and flashes, it still goes through, you know? In a weird way. Fuck. That's bad for me. But he's, he was he got his gold reset, I guess. I suppose that's something. Did I fly on this? Wow, I can't believe I got one shot by a zero killed Uga with one damage item. Just push pot top over here. Can't make it to the fight. I'll take another wave. And now I'll reset. Because if no one defends this, they're just gonna lose so much gold. And I can probably make it to this fight because I think they will be going for it. Or he will just in for it. Taking Nash and then he's dying. That's just poor. Um, okay, let's just shove mid here. Again, now she's defending top. We can push mid. Rakan should stay. We have a timer on 27 seconds. We should not reset before them. Shivana should be hovering, but she's also not. She's farming. But we see Urga. Like, I don't understand why Rakan just left, man. Why did Rakan just leave? So many bad plays. We have a 20 second window when we are 4 versus 5, and people decide to farm with that window on jungle and bot side, and then he's resetting randomly. Very, very unfortunate macro. It is what it is though. Let's just keep farming. Again, we kind of getting back into the game here slowly. Farming is getting up. Um, we're getting some kills. We do damage. We're about to hit fourth item soon. Mm, yeah. They're making a couple of mistakes. Poor mistakes. I don't have my R, so I'm kinda, kinda a little bit scared. My team is in a good position though, so I'm just gonna keep going. Hmm. 
Not bad. I'll defend. <clears throat> it's fine, it's fine. I'll defend this. Doesn't have flashes yet. <clears throat> How do I know it? Well, he flashed when I did, pretty much. We got two turrets. He got one. I'll take that trade. And we also won the team fight, pretty much. So it's not bad. We can do fairly low damage to, to the Urgot as well. And once again, it's kind of weird because he has one item, but he is a lot, like he has a lot of HP. 400, 400, 400, Jesus, 1.2k uh, HP. Tristana has to be careful jumping in because again, we do. Okay. We are kind of strong. What if we just give this one? I mean, she's dead for 18 seconds. We do have time for that, but... <clears throat> That is so. I guess I'll move. Maybe someone will take the bait and move up here. It's just that if I die here. <clears throat> Never mind. Now we can contest for sure. Holy. Soul point as well. Awesome. I'd say we reset and go for Nash, but <clears throat> it looks like we're trying to push another wave here. Why not? Could always go for it. They're still dead. The Anders maybe could have killed. Okay, now we go for Void, and we're pretty big. Um, there's no way to try to rush this again. That would be madness. We're definitely in a better position. Level 17 now. We are kind of big. That should be you know. Well, 
Not sure, maybe we can't end. I'm not really sh Yeah, we could, yeah, we could. Yeah, we can, we can, for sure. Ah! Can we? I think maybe Nash would have been a better call, actually. Because if we die here... Never mind. They're not even trying. Wow, guys. Frustrated playstyle or play play gameplay. I'm really really sorry for it, but like I'm just frustrated man. Playing Malzar, it's like you have to do so much more. Like if I just play Twisted Fate, I I just kill the wave and I pretty much can do something level one to two. But it's like my junglers are always trying to contest Scuttle when I have an unfavorable matchup. I always have unfavorable matchup as Mal's. So junglers hate hates us pretty much. But why didn't you path? Opposite side. Lee Sin is usually starting red, no? So he's always gonna end up at top scuttle. Why didn't she start top side as well and just end up at bot scuttle? You know what I mean? So small things, like, it is what it is. Thank you for watching. Again, sorry for the tilt, but it's just, I, we need to play this matchup very, very good to be able to do shit. And we almost, almost was a pink ward. Luckily, some fights were to our favor. But yeah, thank you for watching. Catch you next one. Peace.